am making something kind of interesting. I told you in my last video, when I was preparing all of that zucchini that I got for free from the farmer's market, that I was going to do an interesting recipe with what was left. This is the chunks that were left here in these bags. So I peeled them yesterday and I put them in the refrigerator so that I could go to the store and grab one thing that I needed for this recipe, which is pineapple juice. Definitely needed pineapple juice because today we're gonna to be making canned, home canned pineapple zucchini. This is the most interesting recipe and I've been dying to try it since I saw Ruth Ann Zimmerman on YouTube make this recipe. Of course, it's a great recipe for when you're overrun with zucchini, which I was yesterday. What I did with those zucchini, I had probably 25 pounds of zucchini, ends, pieces, all of that that the farmer gave me for free at the farmer's market because they couldn't be sold. So yesterday I did a bunch of preparations with those. I shredded most of it and what I did was dehydrate some. I filled the dehydrator as much as I could with the shredded zucchini and I dehydrated some. That's done. We're going to get it packed up here in just a little bit. But the rest that I shredded, I put in the freezer in two cup portions. That'll be great for muffins and baked oatmeal, all kinds of things. I also diced some and I put that in the freezer as well in four cup portions. That'll go into soups and stews and things of that nature. What I have left here today is this amount. I'm not even sure how much this is. So I have six jars to start with. We're gonna cube up this um, zucchini and then we're gonna turn it into pineapple zucchini. So it'll be just like having home, having pineapple on the shelves of our house, but it's gonna use zucchini instead. This is such a great option for a zucchini. Hopefully it's gonna turn out to be something that we like because I was just telling my husband the other day, I wish of all the things that I have on our canned goods shelf, home canned goods shelf, I wish we had more fruit. We just don't have much fruit because we don't grow a lot of fruit here on our on our homestead yet. Um, this year, I'm gonna put up some figs, but that's gonna be it for fruit for this year. And actually, I might do those figs today too. Since we're gonna get the canner out, we might as well, right? Um, anyway, we don't have a lot of fruit. That's kind of where our pantry is lacking, is in fruit that we have put up. So this will be a really good option. Okay, so let's just get right, get started right away. Let's get started on this. I'm going to just cube up the zucchini and get it into the jars. I need a funnel. Here we go. This funnel will be easy to use. I'm gonna chop it and go straight into the jars with it. This is a cold pack recipe, so that's really super nice. I am going to link the recipe for sure below in the description box because as I said, this is all Ruth Ann Zimmerman's recipe here. And as soon as I saw her post that video, I thought that is in my future for sure. So just cut this up into some chunks. These are relatively small zucchini, so they don't have big seeds in them. If you have a zucchini, you know, sometimes you get those monsters that you just didn't see in the garden. If you got one of those, you would want to remove those tough seeds out of the middle because those won't, you know, they really won't soften up much in the canner in the canning process. And also you see that I have peeled these zucchini yesterday when I was doing all that work on the other zucchini that I had. I went ahead and just peeled these up and they are ready to go into these jars at this point. Let's see, we might need to, we can pack them in, but don't, you know, don't overdo it, but fill the jars. Of course, these will shrink down a little bit in the canning process. So you can give them a, a little push down in there. The great thing about this is that this uses something that is sometimes a little bit hard to use. Although zucchini is like a really agreeable vegetable, you know, a lot, not, not everyone likes it because it's just kind of nothing to it sometimes, you know, there's not a lot of flavor to it. It just kind of takes on. That's why it works really well in this preparation is because it just takes on the flavor of whatever you put with it. So 
using something like this pineapple juice is going to give it so much flavor and then the texture is going to be pretty similar to a pineapple as well so i think this is really such a clever preparation for this and pineapple juice lends itself being that it's really high acid um, pineapple juice lends itself really nicely to canning especially water bath canning since it, it does have that high acid content so we're just going to add only a couple of things to this recipe we're going to add a little bit of sugar into the jars along with the juice and the pineapple juice itself and then a bit of lemon juice too just to ensure that the acidity is high enough for safe water bath canning <laughs> okay so let's quickly get these zucchini pineapple zucchinis um, closed up so but for this pineapple all we need to put in here is two tablespoons per jar of sugar you can of course reduce the amount of sugar for this recipe because the pineapple juice is acidic enough that it will um, it's safe for canning but I'm gonna put two tablespoons in here because that's what Ruthann's recipe called for and I think it'll probably be pretty good all the pine all the um, sugar will dissolve when this is canned of course so two tablespoons of that and then I need to get some lemon juice for canning you always want to use bottled lemon juice not fresh just because it has the right acidity for this purpose one tablespoon of lemon juice per jar you want to put all of these ingredients in first before you add in the pineapple juice that'll be the last thing and you'll just fill to one inch of headspace with a pineapple juice. Do you have one of these? Did you know what it was for? <laughs> remember, do you remember? Are you even remotely close to old enough to remember when juice came in cans like this? not bottles. I'm going to put my funnel on there just so that I don't miss terribly. And then we're just going to fill her up. We will come back with a little knife or a chopstick or something and get some of the air bubbles out just to be sure. I think this is going to be just the right amount of pineapple juice. I was getting worried. I'm just going to use a plastic knife. Stick down in here. Zhuzh things around a little bit. So since this is a cold pack recipe, these will be fine to sit on the counter for just a little bit until we get the figs ready to go in the canner as well. If this was a hot pack recipe, you would want to get all of this into your canner, you know, quickly while, and have, you know, nice hot water in there as well. But since this is all going to be cold and cold pack, um, then it'll be fine to sit out of the way until we do get ready. So I'm just making sure that I have the correct headspace in these jars and this looks just fine. 
And now I'm going to wipe the rims. I just use a paper towel that's just a tiny bit damp. Wipe the rims really good. And then we'll put on new lids and some uh, jar rings. And then we can set these to the side until we're ready to load up the canner and can this along with the figs at one time. I bought new lids today, here they are. I just buy usually the least expensive brand of lids. These are the Golden Harvest ones. I've never had any trouble with lids from them. So just pop some lids on. pineapple juice all over these but it'll be fine That's this done for now. So I'm just gonna set these over here to the side and make way for my figs so that I can get started on them. Okay, so it's time for time to get started on these figs. All that I need to do is go through and cut, you see the little top uh, where it attaches to the tree? I'm just gonna go through and cut these off. All I did for these figs when I brought them in after I harvested them, moo moo, no. That's figs, no. Um, <laughs> nothing like a little help from the dogs. All I did with these from when I harvested them from the tree was just bring them in and throw them straight in the freezer. So once I get the tops cut off, I am going to give them a little rinse, even though they're frozen, that's fine. Um, and hopefully I'm going to get eight cups because that's exactly what this recipe calls for is eight cups. I think that's going to be just about right. So um, yeah, let me just cut the tops off of these and we'll go from there. So the tops just need to come off. That would just be a little bit woody, you know, in your preserves. And I'm just basically preserving these as whole figs. I'm not making a jam, nothing like that. So I, all I wanna do is just can these in a nice sugar syrup to preserve them on my shelf. And then that way we can use them in any number of ways. We can serve them straight up on a biscuit. We can make something out of it. I can make a, you know, a filling for a tart or something like that with it. I think this is gonna be great. This is the first year that I have had enough figs to even think about doing anything with them. Most, the last two years, first year our fig tree was teeny tiny and it maybe made one fig. Last year it maybe made 10 figs. So I just ate those, me and the birds basically. <laughs> um, and then this year we're gonna have a big, big crop of figs. This is the first flush I would say and then the fig tree out there is still just loaded with green figs. So it's gonna have lots, lots more. And then we have two trees this year. Um, we have a total of two trees this year and the other one is just as loaded. It, it, we just haven't had enough rain as of late to kind of get those to ripen. So whenever that does happen, I think they're gonna take off right away. But for now, they're just kind of sitting on the tree and um, waiting to ripen, which is fine with me. So this will be the first, the first thing that I do with figs. And then after this, if we get another big, big crop, then I'll be able to do something else with them. So maybe then I would make some fig jam or a barbecue, a fig barbecue sauce. I've seen a lot of recipes for that. That looks delicious too. So anyway, we're getting close to eight cups here. Um, I may just, I'm probably still just gonna do the same recipe with the same amount of sugar because these are really gonna cook down. I mean, they're really gonna soften, basically. Since these are frozen, they're, it's not like they're kind of packing into the cup like they would if they were fresh. So I think we still are basically right around eight or nine cups of figs, and this is gonna be fine to use this. Got my helper boy back there. There's always somebody in the kitchen with me. 
Okay, so I've got my pot on the burner here and I do have my figs. I'm just right over eight cups because they're frozen and hard. So I think this is gonna be totally fine. They're going into the pan and the recipe just calls for a cup of water and three cups of sugar. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this turned on so that it can start heating. I'll go ahead and put it on high, it'll be fine. And here is my sugar. I do need to check the recipe because I don't remember exactly how long this is supposed to cook for. So let's check that out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna double check here. 45 minutes is what it says it needs to cook once the um, mixture comes to a boil. That will just soften and cook the figs until they're almost translucent, it says. And then we can put it into the jars. I did add two tablespoons of lemon juice into this cookie because the recipe does call for some lemon juice. I'm gonna pop the lid on this and I have just, I have just noticed a flaw in my plan. This is going to be hot pack and then the pineapple zucchini is gonna be cold pack or was cold pack. So I actually cannot can these in the same canner batch. So what I'm gonna do is move this off to the back burner and go ahead and can up, get my water bath canner out and can up the uh, pineapple zucchini. Because as I said, this one's gonna go into the canner hot and then the other one is gonna go in cold. So those two things, not really possible to do at the same time. Okay, so I've got this water bath canner sitting off to the side. That was my hot burner right there. I just have it sitting off to the side while I load it all up. And then we'll put it onto the heat once everything is loaded in and it's filled with water. So in goes the pineapple zucchini. And I'm just adding in nice cool water. Again, you want the temperature of the product inside your jars and the water that they go into to match. Okay, so we got it all filled up. The jars are in there with the water and this is going to, once it comes to a boil, it will can, it will it will stay in the canner boiling for 20 minutes. So we'll set the timer for 20 minutes once it comes to a boil, and this will be done after that. So this also is going to come to a boil, and the recipe for the figs says that it needs to cook for about 40 or 45 minutes until the figs are nice and soft and almost translucent. So this is quite a long project. I wish I had started it first. Usually I think about these things, but I just jumped in when I thought I could put them in at the same time. I can't. Either way, that'll, that'll be fine. And we'll get these figs out of the freezer and preserved for the shelf. All right, and I am getting this dehydrated zucchini out here. Look at this crispy stuff. It's nice and crispy. Oh, it's nice and crispy. You can see it breaks down. It doesn't bend. It's not floppy, nothing like that. So all I'm gonna do with this dehydrated zucchini is put it into some quart-sized jars and put an airtight lid on it and throw it on the shelf. This is gonna be awesome to go into all kinds of things. So whenever you're making a sauce or something like that, it's really, really easy to throw in some of this dehydrated zucchini and it just boosts the nutritional content and it also adds a little bit of bulk to things. So that was a great way to use to preserve this zucchini that I got for free at the farmer's market. This was awesome. So I've got my funnel, everything is nice and dry and clean. And I'm just going to go straight into the jars with that. Just like that, we've got dehydrated zucchini in a full, a full quart jar of it. So that is super exciting. That's going to be on the pantry shelves this winter right, to go into whatever I want to put it in. Half pint jars here for these figs. I decided I would do them all in small jars. I have some of these. These are um, eight ounce jars as well. They're just a little bit different shape, but they're pretty cute jars. The pineapple or the zucchini pineapple is just about done. It has two minutes left on the timer and then I'll take the top off and let that sit 
while we fill these jars and then these jars will be ready to go in by the time that's all done. Now, I do need to put a, a little bit of lemon juice into these jars first. On this day, I really just kind of jumped off into this fig canning project and I was not actually planning to, but I'm so glad that I got it done when I did. Sometimes you just want to get as much done as you can when you have the water bath canner or the pressure canner going because it's not a small undertaking to can foods to put up each year. So it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of effort, but it's so worth it when you will have those things. You don't have to worry about them getting freezer burned in the freezer or taking up extra room in the freezer that nobody has extra of anyway. So on this day, I decided to just jump right in and get these figs canned. Hopefully I'm going to get more figs this year on my fig trees and I will have another batch to work on here soon. I will definitely have to let you know exactly what we think of these figs when we finally do get into them. I have something in mind like a tart, like a fig tart maybe, that I think we'll work on here on the channel together. And we can see just how we like these canned up figs in the future. Also saw somebody that uses them for just like a jam or jelly on their biscuit and just kind of spreads that fig on there. I'm sure that would be delicious too. Hey there friend I'm back I have one more thing to add to the end of this video and I thought we would throw together a quick pineapple upside down cake so that we can try out this pineapple zucchini I think it's gonna be really fun to taste it and see how it turned out now I made this about 10 days almost two weeks ago at this point so hopefully it's got flavor and it has been fully turned into pineapple we're gonna test it out I'm gonna do a taste test all right, so here she is. Let's open it up. Smells like pineapple. Smells like pineapple juice. And we're gonna go in, give it a shot. Okay, have a piece. It tastes just like pineapple. There is no there's no zucchini to that whatsoever. It tastes literally just like pineapple, sweet pineapple. The texture is good. It's got a little bit of a, it's not mush by any means. It's, it's not too soft. And it's also not like crunchy or solid. So one more bite. Yeah, it's great. All right, I'm gonna drain this and then we'll get going on the pineapple upside down cake. didn't it look at that all right I guess I'm gonna use the biggest knife that I have we're gonna cut this gal I had to piece it back together a little bit it didn't stick much but on the inside of the tube there it stuck a little bit more but that's okay it still looks good all right I think I'm gonna go this direction because I want this cherry <laughs> let's cut it oh man it looks so good now of course this is just a box cake cake mix and then I put that brown sugar. Oh, it looks so fluffy. 
and light. Oh yeah. Of course I have to try it. And I'm going to try straight away with the zucchini. I mean pineapple. <laughs> it's so good. There's no way you would ever know that that was zucchini if you didn't have any clue, you know? It just... It's great. It tastes just like pineapple. Okay, you have to try this recipe. You have to try the pineapple zucchini, and then you have to try a pineapple upside down cake with the pineapple zucchini. I think you're gonna be blown away. I'm blown away. <laughs> it's so good. I can't wait for Alan to try this when he gets home. I think he's gonna be shocked that this is the pineapple zucchini in here. So good. Okay, well, I want to say thank you so much for watching my video today. I really appreciate you being here. I, I'm just getting my YouTube channel started, and every minute that you watch the channel really helps me out so much. Also, anytime you like a video or comment on a video, that helps my channel so much. And I hope the channel is going to grow and more and more people can see all the things that I'm doing here on our homestead and how we're spending our days. Again, I really appreciate you being here today. I hope that you will try some of these recipes and I hope to see you back here real soon.